Hello friends, this is Kinshal Pandya. Today I will be covering a little bit on types of intelligence. So what is intelligence per se? Everybody knows what is intelligence. If you are doing well in your academics, you are very intelligent. If you are not doing well, you are not very intelligent. So this is how intelligence is talked about in our country. Or maybe in, in a general way. But exactly what is intelligence? Intelligence, it's, it's called, there are three types of intelligence. IQ, EQ and SQ. IQ is something that's God gifted. So this is when you understand logical things. That's IQ, intelligence quotient. And that is a very fixed amount of thing that we get it from birth. We cannot change our IQ proportion in our complete life. Then comes EQ. EQ, which is called as emotional quotient, is supposed to be even at a little higher grade than IQ. What is EQ? EQ is when you can understand your emotions, when you can understand somebody else's emotions, when you can manage your emotions and you can manage somebody else's emotions. So all these four aspects make you you and your emotional quotient at a reasonable high grade. It's a sad fact that people with high EQ have always been more successful than people with high IQ. So what do you think is on an upper grade? Naturally, it's EQ. And something that's supreme, that even better than EQ, is SQ. What's SQ? It's, a, it's called spiritual intelligence, spiritual quotient. Now, what's that? I think it's a little confusing. But the formula for SQ is IQ plus EQ equals to SQ, which means having a particular intelligence plus having that EQ levels can make you reach your SQ levels faster. Reaching SQ level is a task each individual has to do in their lifetimes. We don't come with SQ as a natural thing. With very few people, it is there on a higher scale. But with increase in EQ, we can, de we can definitely shoot up our SQ. How? Now that's a very lengthy topic to cover right now but one thing that I can differentiate between EQ and SQ is when EQ can help you in managing others and our emotions SQ in the first place can help you in anticipating the emotions connected to an episode in advance and makes you either stay away or indulge in that activity to feel or not feel the way we do. So which means you get that kind of a long term thinking that whether you can sustain this part of an event or you cannot sustain and that becomes your SQ level. So these are a few ways in which I have tried to differentiate between IQ, EQ and SQ. So ultimately as, you, as human beings our ultimate aim should be to increase our SQ and the, the way we can do is by increasing our EQ. So let's not crib about what our IQ levels are. Whatever XYZ IQ levels we have, let's merge it or let's try increasing our EQ levels. So in nutshell, we come up with a nice high level of SQ levels. Let's do that. Thank you.